There he is. Aaron, dude, what's up, man? How's it going? Can you hear me? Is this working? Oh, I can hear you. It, which is the proper way to start off any like internet uh, video connection in 2020, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely have to. Ear pods. I've never done this before. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You got a real mic? I didn't yeah. know. Shoot. All right. Yeah, you didn't bring your real mic? The, no, I, was, I mean it was in the it was in the memo. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's not plugged into my phone though. I don't know how to do that. It's all right. It's it is for aesthetics anyway. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, uh, first of all, I have to say uh, I I was told to tell you hello by a man named Jeff Donahue. Um, yes, he is a huge he is a big friend of the site, and he uh, he said he was very excited uh, about you coming on today. So he told me to tell you hello. That's so. awesome. I love him. He is the uh, the mayor of Braves Twitter unofficially. Yes. <laughs> right. He's the man. Which Braves Twitter. I, I want to talk some Braves with you here in a bit, but Braves Twitter is arguably some of the best interneting on the internet. <laughs> it's got to be. And I think we, uh, we we just take over the sports world, uh, yes. unlike any other baseball team, because every baseball team has awful, you know, angry fans online sometimes. Right. But like the Tiger Woods thing, oh, that, it just, it took over. <laughs> It's Every, incredible. It's unbelievable. Just like one dumb tweet, and then it takes over. And, and then this, really... this year with the uh, with the potato in the NLCS. Yep. And I was uh, I was in Mexico for the first couple of games, and so I was trying to catch up and figure out what the hell is going on with this potato. And it took me like <laughs> like three days, and I was like, I'm supposed to be in on these jokes, and I right did not get it for a while. And, and that... there's nothing really to get. It's just run right. It. Yeah. it was just a it was just a potato. A, a guy got mailed a potato, and that became the rallying cry of of the Braves. That that's um it, that's one of those that, that's what makes Braves Twitter so great. Is like if you're not in on the joke, like you really want desperately want to be in on it. Yeah, and, it's brilliant. It's great marketing. Um. All right. So Aaron, before, I, I, and, and we will talk more Braves, but uh, so I first discovered you on the popular uh, social media app Vine way mm -hmm. back in the day. R.I.P. And I was going to say, and I, I feel like uh, we would be remiss if we didn't start this you know, conversation off uh, with a moment of silence for Vine. So if you, if you don't mind, just a quick uh, six seconds for Vine. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, beautiful. That, I, that was very sweet. <laughs> you literally have a microphone and a lighter just handy, just in case if anyone wants to record a podcast or have a, a candlelight vigil Dude, at any moment. Banana nut muffin prepackaged? <laughs> I, got, I got so much random stuff on my desk. You've got like Mary Poppins purse in front of you. Anything you need, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Aaron, when, when Vine officially went down, like for good, I assume you had already had you already moved on to other things, or was that kind of like a uh, oh crap, like you know what to do now thing? Um, so that was never my like full time thing. I didn't do the full sure, influencer sure. thing. Um, went to film school. Was always doing like real film work. Um, always wanted to do more funny stuff. So that's kind of what Vine was for me. Is that I was doing stand up too in Atlanta. So I would just throw dumb jokes on there, and then it just kind of picked up on accident like I wasn't really trying to go after it or anything um so when it went down you know it was a bummer because it was super fun but it also opened a bunch of doors for like my real career so yeah it sucked when it left but uh some great years and you know I just kind of figured out where to go after that and it was okay when it yeah. when it left uh all right now now let's talk Atlanta Braves cool the are they winning the World Series next year in the next five years, for sure. Okay. So, like, we're right. at That's the good. start of the window. Gives you some breathing room, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> things happen. You got, you know, the Dodgers buying everyone up. Apparently, the Mets are about to be a super team. So, if it's not next year, I'm never going to – you know, with baseball, you just never really know. But in this window we have of just young studs, I, I would bet a significant amount of money if I had it on us winning a World Series, yes. Oh, okay. All right. And I feel like you can – you're one of the few fans that can say us uh, just based off of the amount of work and stuff you have done with the Braves organization, with the music videos, the hype videos, everything. I, I want to ask you this. It's a story I've heard, but I want you to share it with the audience, I guess. Okay. 
and I, I don't really know how to set it up other than the fact that it was right before you went on a cruise ship. I wondered if it was going there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. So I did a few music videos for the Braves in like 2014. I don't know. Uh, but the first two were originals and then we decided to do a parody and we did bass lines, which was a parody of blurred lines. Huh. <laughs> um, massive song. It's going to be the song of the summer. If you haven't heard it. It's going to yeah. Be huge. Yeah. Rob, Robin thick. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we did that. It, it did really well online. Uh, Braves are using it in the stadium, which was super fun. I went to the first game of the NLDS and like the Braves took the field and they played it on the big screens. That was, that's a top five career moment for me. It was cool. Um, and then, you know, a couple days later, I'm going on a cruise, uh, which is poor timing on my part. And as I'm driving down there, I have a, a car full of my friends. I get a call from the Braves and they say, our legal team is, uh, is starting to freak out because, you know, parodies are, it's, it's a weird gray area. Um, so uh, could, could we, you know, we might need to take this down, but we know you're going out of the country. You might have service. What's the deal? So I said, you know, I'll just, I just give you my login if that works and do whatever you need to, if you need to take it down and then I'll just change my credentials coming back. And they said, great. Uh, this was also on speakerphone and there were a lot of, it was like the marketing team, apparently a couple executives I found yeah. out later. That were Probably all just like, like a massive rooms. boardroom, I imagine. Massive boardroom. <laughs> I'm definitely seeing like Hank Aaron at the head of the table. <laughs> I'm all just like intensely listening to this. Um, so yeah, I, you know, the whole time I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I'm, going to be easy. I'm an easy, easy vendor here. And so I give them, uh, my email and then they say, and what's the password? Uh, and that's, I, for some reason didn't see it coming. And I was like, Oh no. <laughs> so I said, it's a penis castle. <laughs> and they just, it was just dead silence. Like Hank, four Hank Aaron, Hank Aaron, just face palms at the head of the, the, head of the yeah, table. Yeah, and my friends, of course, are losing their mind because they don't know my password. It's the first time they heard it. Because um, I made them shut up. I was like, "It's the Braves, shut up!" Like I have to business call. Um, and then the Braves are like, "Are you serious?" I say, <laughs> yes, I am serious. And then what, it would be even like, what if you weren't serious? You you just like felt like just <laughs> yeah, dropping yeah. that joke and you yeah. Know, and, I just wanted to say moment. penis to the the Braves front office. That was a dream of mine. Um, yeah, and then they didn't laugh, and we never acknowledged it again after that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just... it, I, and I don't want to oust you, uh, you know, just your, 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 I guess your private, your password security, but it, is your password still Penis Castle? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I know, I've only said that in one other video, so I know the one you've seen, and then I, of course, changed my stuff before that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it is Penis something, but I'm not going to say what. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Just I just got a theme going on here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just just uh it just anything penis. Right. Uh that's a weird transition into the next question. Hey, so start <laughs> one, bench one, cut one, okay? Okay. You start one, bench one, cut one. Chipper Jones, Freddie Freeman, Bartolo Colon. Hmm. You know, Mm. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start Freddie. Okay. Wow. Uh, right. MVP or MV free? Excuse me. MVP also not old and or large. <laughs> Just to compare to the other two, so he's still right. playing years. I'm gonna start him. Um, you know, Chipper. Oof, how many How many people got watching? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Chipper's. Uh, you know, obviously legend. Grew up loving him. I think now that he's more in the like personality space. The, uh, the, the, you know, adoration's kind of faded a little bit just from <laughs> some stuff he's saying. Um, yeah, for team morale, I'll bench Bartolo. He's, he's a utility okay. guy. He can pitch. Right. He can hit. Yeah, he can he's, do got it all. A, he's, he's got a career home run. Yeah, Chipper just stands at third and is just daydreaming about cutting a fish. Like it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yeah. If he's at third, he's he's mentally in a tree stand somewhere. He is. He really is. <laughs> All right, um, Aaron, uh, are you still blocked by uh, Applebee's on Twitter? As far as I know, yes. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, is uh, Applebee's and Pepsi, who they're in bed with. Pepsi. Well, that's yeah. that's okay because you're an Atlanta guy. It's you don't need yes. I despise Pepsi and everything they stand for. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, they, right. um, they, I, they unblocked me at some point years ago, and then I blocked them. So I think I actually currently have them blocked. But Oh, wow. That's the power yeah. move right there. It is the power move. You can't block me. I'm blocking you. No, this is this is a lifelong feud as far as I'm concerned. They might have changed marketing people, but as a brand, yeah. I hate them. That's the that's the Twitter, you can't fire me, I quit. That's true, 100%. <laughs> All right, Aaron, before I get you out of here, thank you so much for doing this, dude. This has been awesome. This has been a ton of fun. Good to um, meet you. I are, not IRL, you know what I mean. Yeah. Not just yeah. via I, 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 IG. I, IG, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> The I want to do a lightning round. All right. So I'm just going to yeah. ask you a number of questions and you just kind of give me either the your answer or just the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. All right. Lightning round. Uh, commence. I don't know how to start it. Red licorice or black licorice? Red. Describe Jonathan Taylor Thomas in one word. Heartthrob. <laughs> Is that that's one. Yeah. That's one. Uh, Bud Light or White Claw? Bud Light. If you started your own Vegas nightclub, what would you call it? Sin City Slickers. <laughs> There's something to that, maybe? I don't know. I, I think so. I, I, I would invest. Um, if you were a Teletubby, what color would you be? Rainbow. Oh, that's a cop-out answer, but all <laughs> yeah. right, we'll accept it. Judges? Yes, we will accept that answer. Uh, Chick-fil-A or The Field? Chick-fil-A, 100%. Nice. That's I'm, I'm currently working on a project at Chick-fil-A right now. Oh, very nice. I'm there you go. Fully Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Nice little tease there. Uh, favorite Nickelback song? How You Remind Me. I mean, come on. That's, I do that on a karaoke. When that was, when that was legal, I don't do it now. Uh, yeah, that's that's a staple of karaoke. Yeah, I, I've heard I, I've heard you're a big karaoke guy, a massive just like you go you go hard in karaoke. Absolutely, I know a lot of people have lost so much this year, but I've lost karaoke, and that's more than most. So. Do you have? Do you have? If you have, if you're at a karaoke bar, sorry, lightning round on pause. If yeah. you go to a karaoke bar, do you? What's your like? If and you have one song, what are you going up with? So that that's. That's an amateur mistake a lot of people make. You can't just have one song. You got to read the room. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, what's the vibe? There's a Dark Horse in yeah. Atlanta. Have you been to Dark Horse by any chance? The live band not. karaoke place? I have it's, not. Uh, no. It is special. I bought a condo within walking distance. That wasn't the only reason. It was a big reason. But uh, if it's the weekend and it's like crowded and people just want to have a good time and sing along, so you got to do a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Um, when you were young, I do a lot there. There's just a live band. It just rocks and it's fun. Teenagers, a My Chemical Romance, you get a scream. Okay. Uh, but then if it's like chill, I'll just do something a little more for me. You know what I mean? Like uh, Stuck in the Middle with You. Okay. Yep. Uh, I did The Climb by Miley Cyrus, and my voice <laughs> went out halfway through, and I kept going, like, last year. Probably won't uh, do that one again. Yeah, but yeah there's, I have a uh, Spotify playlist called Karaoke, and I only put a song on there if I've done it. Like it doesn't go on the list unless I sang it, and there's over 300 songs. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Pretty have sad. You, have you ever done? This is my go-to karaoke song. Have you ever done anything Fat Boy Slim? No. Does it just repeat over and over and over? <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, um, so brother, just over and over and over. Yeah. All that's right. Great. Well, I gotta come out and check it. once once everything gets back to normal. I gotta come out and check you singing Nickelback. You Do it. <laughs> All right. The lightning round back on. If you were one of the 101 Dalmatians, what would your name be? Do they have names? Oh yeah, every uh, single one of them. Well, most they, of them. Are they like the elves, like Snorri and Sneezy and things like that? Like, what are <laughs> sample so. names? Yeah. Uh. The, well, the dad is Pongo. I know that. Uh, Pongo. <laughs> uh pueblo that's my name pueblo okay all right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> judges yes we will accept that one too uh the fast and the furious or too fast too furious fast and the furious speed sure. one or speed two cruise control mm, both kind of suck and are great i'll do speed one i'm just big keanu guy yeah oh, yeah it's a good answer, then. Uh, family Feud, good answer. Uh, Big Mama's House or Nutty Professor to the Clumps? Big Mama's House. Is, uh, mm, that's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen when I saw it. 
And if you started a rivaling sport to counter parkour, what would you call it? Hmm. Oh, wall hopping. <laughs> just simple and to the point, you just, know. That's that's what it is, you know. You know, you got to go with what sells, and just <laughs> right, like American football. That's like the parkour. It doesn't. This name doesn't make sense. You got to go with what it yeah. is. Yeah. You know? Oh, oh, you're still into parkour? <laughs> that's so 2000 late, dude. I'm into wall hopping. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, and lastly, what's your favorite Brendan Fraser movie? Flash from the Past. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, I mean, I would have said good answer no matter what you said. Encino uh, Man would be number two, probably. Mm, good one. Yeah, I'm not going to say The Mummy, all right? Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a simp. <laughs> what about uh, Bedazzled? I think I enjoyed Bedazzled. I haven't seen it since whenever that was, like 98 or whatever. Uh, Encino Man was incredibly funny. Flash from the Past, I just remember thinking was cute as hell it is one of the most underrated rom-coms in the history of rom-coms in my opinion yeah it's a brilliant concept yes it really is aaron you are the man dude i appreciate you playing along and just just hanging out for a bit dude it's literally been it's been an honor getting to to chat with you and to get to know you and uh i wish you and your braves uh nothing but success in the future man thank you so much your braves too right i see a hat back there well i okay so is that did you put that up for this no, well, no, it, it, that's been up. That's been up. I do love Atlanta sports. I love all Atlanta sports, but my, my diehard baseball team. And I, and I don't want to, I didn't want to tell you this. I, we were having so much fun. I, I actually grew up, I'm a massive Dodgers fan. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, this is now awkward. This is. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, I, congrats, I guess. I, Justin Turner is the biggest turd in the world. Not just because of the COVID thing. Because we tried to do a shoot with him, and he bailed two minutes before. No. After like, after like 15 people flew to L.A. Um, oh, that yeah, I, got, I got some beef with Justin Turner. Uh, it, but I do love – I love Mookie, and I love Seager and Kershaw. And it's fine. Congrats. It's, a, it's all right. We, um, so we do a thing on this uh, – on our Instagram account every Friday where we try and get a uh, like from a random athlete. It's, it's, it's called – it's aptly titled The Dumb Social Experiment. Um, yeah, <laughs> to where we just get all of our followers to tag people in the comments until like we get them noticed and hopefully they double tap the post. And if they do like it, then, you know, we, we, we drop a video. We have a special video that we drop only if we get the like. Justin Turner was our very first target. And we did not get the like. Good. <laughs> that is in line with his bad character. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, carrot tops, hairier brother. Like gritty's like, like a lesser cool gritty, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Like the Stefan machine from Family Matters, you know? <laughs> yes. Put Justin Turner in there and then it's gritty. <laughs> he just comes out, hey, and starts just knocking like on all the It's gotta be hard to get a baseball player to like like corked bats. Like that feels like a red flag, right? Right. Yeah, it's like a trap. Like Rob Manfred just yeah. set up a trap. Like uh, It's like Mookie Betts followed like Peds Are Us. You're like, that's <laughs> not, you shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're we're quirked with a K though, so you know, like we're quirky. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, if you're actually trying to cheat, you spell it right. <laughs> Aaron, dude, you're the man. Everyone, go follow Aaron on all of the social medias at Aaron Tuning. Dude, thank you so much, man. This has been such a blast. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. It was fun. All right. Hey, uh, go go Braves. Yeah, go Braves. How do you exit out of here? I'm trapped. I don't know. I don't know. Please I'm kick gonna... me out. I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. See ya. Okay. Bye. See ya. Oh, crap. Oh, geez. Now it's just me. All right. See you guys.